everybody thanks for tuning into another video what we're going to be looking at today is a game that needs absolutely no introduction whatsoever cyberpunk 2077 arguably probably one of the biggest releases or anticipated releases of 2020 so i haven't played this game yet but it will be interesting to see how it works on a 49 inch ultra wide monitor running on a gtx 1080 graphics card Note GTX 1080, this is not a GTX 1080 Ti. Standard 8 gig of RAM, uh, oh, sorry, 8 gig of GDDR4 memory, I think it is, not even 5. I can't even remember now. So old Zotac 1080. Um, I've got the settings uh, on maximum for everything, just for the fun of it. Obviously, the menu apparently, to, according to that screen below, is running at 240 frames per second, which is probably not possible because my display is only running at 120 frames per second so uh, I'm, I'm maxing this out just for the fun of it just to see how it really works everything is set to ultra as you can see there um, and if I scroll through as well whatever is whatever is the maximum setting has been set um, and it's running at full screen resolution of 5120 by 1440 which is the maximum resolution of this 49 inch monitor so let's go ahead and fire up a new game I haven't started it yet um, let's start it in normal mode. Let's see if it's going to go into. I have to select something here versus life path. Um, I don't know what to select already. Um, I'll select anything for now, Street Kid, just to get started, and then we can we can uh, get to the gameplay ASAP. Um, I'm not going to do any sort of fancy customizations here. I'm just going to next to everything just to get started. I'm waiting for it to go into full widescreen mode or ultra wide, I should say, really. Yeah, we won't spend any attribute points right now. Let's get started. I don't want to spend too long, otherwise, if I sit here and start customizing that screen, that character would probably be here for a very long time before we even get into the sort of gameplay. Now you can see the frame rate there on the screen below. The frame rate has dropped to 15 frames per second. Um, it's asking me to continue, so I'm saying yes to continue. And I think we're about to start seeing probably some full motion video. You can see now it's switched to full ultra wide mode. It's using the whole monitor. Looks lovely. Um, isn't performing very well, 10 frames per second. As you can see, there's a bit of a lag. Well, not a bit of lag, a lot of lag. Um, <laughs> it's not performing very well at all, so the old card is not holding up at all. I suppose this game is not really designed to play on an old 1080 at ultra wide, in an ultra wide resolution, pushing so many pixels on this ultra wide monitor. Um, this really is showing the age of the card now and proving to me that I really do need that new card at some point soon. 11 frames per second. We're sitting at 11 frames per second at the moment. I'm just trying to script through all of this at the moment. Must admit, though, I mean, it looks absolutely gorgeous at this full resolution. Uh, on this ultra wide monitor, it, almost like maybe this is how the game should be played on an ultra wide monitor i'm enjoying gaming more and more on this widescreen uh, most games are supporting the full resolution i'm trying to skip ahead of the conversation at the moment i wanted to start walking around a little bit just so you can get a feel of how it is this is me walking around I'm following this yellow waypoint at the moment. So we're seeing about 14 to 17 frames per second, 18, as you can see there on the screen below. If you want to know what that software is, let me know. I'll leave a link of the software in the description below. So I'm playing this with an Xbox controller connected to the PC. 
the PC itself is run, running a Ryzen 3950X processor and 64 gig off uh, memory. It's a little powerhouse. The only thing that needs to be upgraded on it really is the memory card. And that's something I haven't, sorry, I don't know why I said their graphics card. Graphics card is what I'm waiting for. Oh, I want some of his burger. What's he eating there? Looks like he's enjoying that, isn't he? You see this magazine of the future, digital pages. Wonder if we'll end up there one day. I'm going to skip ahead through these conversations to see if we can walk around a little bit more again. There's big man here sitting eating that burger, isn't he? Not saying a word. So those glitches you're seeing is not graphics glitches, but when you press skip ahead, it's uh, almost in the fast forward mode where it's skipping ahead. And uh, initially I was trying to figure out what's going on there myself, but it's not a graphics glitch. It's just the bit where it's fast forwarding. No, if I drop the resolution on this a bit or, or drop the texture details, this will probably work absolutely fine on a 1080. Um, I'm guessing when there's more action going on on the screen, the frame rates will drop to something that might not be very acceptable. But at the moment, there's a lot going on, I guess, in these screens here, that there's a lot of people around. Um, and we're not dro dropping part, we're not, we haven't hit under 10 frames per second yet. I don't think I haven't been paying specific attention to that, but I think we're making our way outside now. So the yellow marker is generally the waypoint by the looks of it. There you go. I'm not going to make this video too much longer. I'm sure you've seen enough gameplay footage and trailers of this game. If you do want to see more of this game running on this ultra wide monitor, let me know. I'll be more than happy to play a bit more and show you what it looks like. Um, but I don't want this video to drag out too long. I really just wanted to test to see how it runs on my machine. Again, give you an idea of what sort of experience you can expect running on a 1080 non-TI. And also, if you're thinking of maybe buying an ultra-wide monitor and you want to see how Cyberpunk looks on an ultra-wide, then I can confirm it looks gorgeous. Definitely does look like this game probably should be played on a monitor this wide. Um, I'm probably also going to be buying the console version um, to see how it looks on the new gen console. Some debating whether I should buy Series X or PS5 at the moment, probably leaning towards the Series X to be honest, but when I do get it, I might just upload a video of that as well. I'm supposed to be getting in the back of this car. So there you go. Cyberpunk 2077 running 
on a PC equipped with a Ryzen 3950X, 64 gig of RAM, a GTX 1080 with 8 gig of DDR4 or 5 memory, whatever, graphics memory, whatever it is, and uh, a 49 inch Samsung ultra wide monitor. Game looks awesome. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. I hope you've enjoyed the video. As always, if you have, please leave a thumbs up. And also, don't hit, forget to hit the subscribe button on the corner there somewhere. Right about there, there will be a subscribe button. Please hit it if you haven't already done so. Support my efforts to bring you these videos. There will be many, many more videos to come in the future, hopefully. Take care. Thanks for watching and all the best. Bye-bye.